This video is for people who want to keep their Linux Mint system, but in particular cases where intensive RAM and CPU is needed, they have an alternative of changing their distribution to a lighter one with a very simple window manager, which is Fluxbox. So let's now see how we can install Fluxbox with a minimal amount of labor. Okay, first let us take this on one out. We right click, open in terminal. First we have to install it. We write sudo apt install fluxbox. You put the password. It installed feh. Feh is a image viewer and back background setter it will be useful if you want to add a background you can use fah okay so it's finished let us see how it go how how it is so we get out we go to applications log out and log out we have here the icon there is fluxbox i put the password so we get the screen this is the panel and we don't have a desktop we just have this background and we have a menu and this menu doesn't include the applications if you notice there is no Firefox even you have to search for the terminal here in shell I think in bash you can you can search for it so let me close it so let us first try to have a panel here replace this one let me hide it first you go to configuration toolbar remove the visibility okay and we need to have a wallpaper here fluxbox so let us exit we go back here xfce we are now in the xfce login screen so we need to get out so first of all we have to fix the menu in fluxbox so to fix it we go to fluxbox here to the menu as you can see here the fluxbox menu is only the default fluxbox menu which is available here which is included there is no other menu items that are present here and there is no program which can fill all these menus with all the programs that are installed we will not do a filling of all the applications that will be installed although it can be done with some programs like menu maker and others but to keep things simple we just give or three or four programs that you you need and later on we might do a more we will expand on that so here i will i included a a text here which i will explain i will put also in the description and you can add on it the programs that you seem fit to include for your fluxbox so here we have a sub menu i created below this menu and the name is my menu and it includes the following uh, four programs the first program is the name of a internet browser i called it firefox you can call it internet browser this is the name that will be seen in the menu and the command firefox the same thing for the second one kden live and the command is kden live and the third one is the icon location that you need next to the menu if you don't want an icon you just remove it the third one is a gimp and the command is gimp and the fourth one is i created a an uh, item i can uh, a menu item search apps and the command is rofi dash show dran dash show icons which is a 
like a small application where you you will have to search for apps it will give you a small search menu the final one is wallpapers and this one at the end of the menus at the end of the four items here there will be all the backgrounds that are available in user share backgrounds linux mint because we know at this background you have all the backgrounds and if you click on one of them that will be shown here it will set the background so it'll be easy to set the background instead of the default one which is a very ugly one so that is it so the next step so we fix the wallpaper we fix the menu we need to fix the panel and get this uh, Rofi installed so that you can use it in the in the panel also go out go out let us go to the terminal open in terminal then to Rofi XFCE4 dash app finder this one is already installed because it is an XFCE edition if you are running KDE you need to run this one and you press enter you put the password so it tells me XFCE is already the newest version and I am downloading the others okay so we the tint 2 is our panel down and Rofi is our if we want to search for our application let me show you how it works this is the command Rofi dash show dran dash show dash icons and you click it and you'll have a search button where you can search for, for whatever you want let's say I want to search for Firefox I can get the Firefox one final thing we have to do before logging back into Fluxbox is to make sure that the Tint2 is loaded in Fluxbox which is our panel so we go to Fluxbox we go to start up and here we have to do a very simple task and don't follow it literally by the word so you put tint to space and and don't forget the and because it will cause a big problem for your startup so we close it save yes save yes and before going uh, into Fluxbox I want to give you a glimpse of how much RAM we are using so let me go to open in terminal we run htop htop is not installed no problem we run top it is used so currently we are using 646.7 megabytes used in XFCE which is also very big and we have 2.7 and 1.7 as CPU it is increasing or decreasing with no applications except the terminal running so that's what we have to watch out when we go into Fluxbox and so we have to sign in okay logged in and we have no desktop yet we have the tint to panel if I right click I will get all the, the default menu and down you have my menu and the four programs that I gave and down you will see all the backgrounds that we discussed that will be as wallpaper so I press any one let's say this one it will change the background we can pick whichever I want so pick the one that you like let us keep this one so what do you have here 
we click this one we go to launcher application launcher go like this press it make it up we can put whatever we want file manager XFCE terminal For the clock, I'll put here a small b, apply, okay, so we have now, we have my menu here, if I want to search here, by internet, Or you use this one, search apps. It's the same one. Okay. You have the file manager. You have the terminal. You have the browser. And if you want to check the RAM. using 350 megabytes of RAM CPU 00 if you want to remove this workspace you go to taskbar go down show desktop name click it click apply Thank you.